Happy 4th of July. This is Janice coming to you from Home Instead Senior Care. Well, the warm weather has definitely arrived. Matter of fact, it's above warm. It's extremely hot. And so I'm very briefly going to go through the dress code with you. So hot weather means everybody wants to wear less clothes, but that's not always such a good idea. So let's talk about what you can and cannot wear. Women, you can wear pants, scrub bottoms, and capris. The colors are black, khaki, brown, gray, and navy blue. No jeans, leggings, and no shorts. Men, you can wear pants, scrub bottoms, and shorts below the knees. Likewise, the colors are black, khaki, brown, gray, and navy blue. No jeans or athletic shorts, and no shorts above the knee at all. You must wear your purple polo and lanyard at all times. Shoes must have toes, no flip-flops or sandals. And I can't believe I'm going to say this, but please be mindful of your personal hygiene. During the hot summer months filled with sweat and more sweat, it can be very awkward when you are with your client. So let's all be very mindful about our appearance during these hot summer months. So today, I'm not the only one that's going to be with you. I have Sherry with me, and she is going to talk to you about a lockbox. So Sherry, over to you. Okay, I'm just gonna take a couple of minutes to go through the lockbox information with you. For those of you who haven't used a lockbox before, we have those at clients' homes where they have difficulty maybe getting to the door to let you in. If you have not used one, you'll see in the assessment information, it talks about the shackle. The shackle is this top part that attaches usually to the railing. You don't typically do anything with that, but the code is in the assessment. The code that you need is the lockbox code, which is four digits. So this one is 1754. So you just roll the dial, make sure the numbers line up with the little lines on the sides. When you get those numbers in line on the side, there's a little door. You just slide that up, remove the key, let yourself in, take that key, put it back in here, close the door. And this is really important. Make sure that you jumble up those numbers so that your client is left safe and secure and no one can access the house. If you have any trouble when you get there, you're having any difficulty, give us a call at the office and we will walk you through what to do. Thank you. All right. Well, we were a couple months behind on our caregivers for the month. So we are going to start with the caregiver for the month of April. This caregiver goes above and beyond to care for her clients. She has a wonderful task about being an advocate for her clients and maintaining professional relationships with faculty staff. She is willing to answer the call and meet the needs of her clients. She is dependable and hardworking, and she ensures that her clients receive the best care, putting 100% into everything she does. Join us in congratulating the caregiver for the month of April, Kim Orberg. Kim, thank you for being such a wonderful caregiver. And now our caregiver for the month of May, Austin Lathorpe. Austin is confident, calm, patient, compassionate, and flexible are only a few of the adjectives that one could use to describe our caregiver for the month of May. Our objective for caregivers to go above and beyond is one he accomplishes daily. His heart for others is not a job to him. It's a passion. He cares for his clients with warmth, compassion, and a genuine desire to make their lives better, even if only for the moment. So join us in congratulating the caregiver for the month of May, Austin Lathrop. So I want to tell you all that we are so glad that you're each and every one a part of our wonderful team. We will be having in the next week the caregiver for the month of June, and also we will be talking about the mandatory caregiver meeting that is coming in August. The dates are August the 23rd and 24th. We will be sending sign now for you and the times that are available. So once again, 
from Homestead Senior Care, I wish you all a very happy 4th of July.